When Mary was a little girl, she loved music. One day she picked up a guitar and played and wrote songs and sang. Until she became famous for playing her music all over the world. When Darcy was a little girl, she loved puppets. One day she made a puppet, then made another, and another, and another, until her puppets became famous all over the world. And then it happened. Mary and Darcy met. And Mary's music and Darcy's puppets became Mary Rice Hopkins and Puppets with a Heart. One, two, three, four. Hey, y'all. We have a great show for you today. I learned a valuable lesson. Never to judge anybody on the way they look, the way they talk, or even what kind of music people choose to listen to. Yeah, and Mary has a great new sideband the Lambs formed called the Runamux. And Mary is having a hoedown showdown with all her friends and relatives. So go grab your cowboy boots and your cowboy hats and stay tuned. And there's plenty of punch and Linda's famous cookies in that corner. The barbecue is going on outside, but if you have barbecue sauce on your fingers, please don't pet the lambs, because they look awful in red fur. <laughs> awesome, guys. It's so cool. I love your dancing. Yeah. It's awesome. Mary, that oh, was so 
fun. Oh, it's so cool how everybody joined in and singing. It's a blast. And by the way, the lambs are ready for the next set. Great. And are you sure you want to develop this next side band? What? Mary and the Runamucks? Are you kidding? They'll love it. But aren't you afraid they're going to run amok in the middle of song? I'm counting on it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> by the way, your family and your 94 year old aunt just arrived. That's great. Come on, I want you to okay. meet her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi, Aunt Mabel. It's so nice to meet you. Mary has always told me you're one of the ones that encouraged her to be a singer. It's true. Oh, Mary's good at anything she goes at. And Aunt Mabel has been a great Christian example to so many people. Wow. Well, I've just been a Christian so long that I wouldn't know how to live otherwise. <laughs> you two keep visiting. I'm going to go get some punch, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Did you see the way they, they, they all dress like they're in the wild, wild west or something? Yeah. And, and did you see, hear how they were talking? Y'all this and y'all that? Like, they talk like a bunch of first graders with marbles in their mouth. Yeah. And, and did you see what they were wearing, those cowboy boots? All the same kind, the guys and the girls. Yeah. Stop just saying, yeah. Are you with me or you're not? We're not going to the hoedown, because those people are weird, right? Well, Gringo? Oh, no, I think you better think hard about that answer. Oh, hi, Mary. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. Long enough in, like, how long enough? Long <laughs> enough as in, like, somewhere around the first grader, y'alls, and cowboy boots. Well, we didn't want to hurt your feelings, Mary. You weren't supposed to hear all that. And that's supposed to make everything better? Well, it is what it is. What is, Gringo? What in the world is going on in your heart today? Oh, well. I think we need to check it. Heart check? Whoops, tickle spot. Oh my goodness, Gringo. You have a judge's mallet? Well, I'm so disappointed in you, Gringo. What is this all about? What? Just because I don't like the way some people are? Well, what's wrong with that? There's plenty wrong with that. There are too many people in the world today judging people over what kind of music they listen to, how they talk, or what country they're from. Well, well, uh, I, uh, well, uh, uh. Look, Gringo, this isn't about me being mad at you. This is about me being disappointed in you. Deciding whether you like someone based on what they look like or what kind of clothes they wear or what country they're from or what style of music they listen to just isn't right. There's a really famous verse in the Bible, and it's right here. I want you to read along. 1 John 2, 9, it says, whoever says he is in the light and hates his brother is still in the darkness. And you probably know others like love your neighbor as yourself and God made all of us. Mary, don't yell at me in front of Ono. Oh well, first of all, Gringo, I'm not yelling at you. And second of all, you're the one that's trying to pull little Ono into this way of thinking. And anything I have to say to you, I want little Ono to hear also. Now I'm going upstairs to get more punch. You and Ono get the food in the rehearsal room and take it to the barn and wait for me there. Okay. Well, we'll get the cookies and take them in, but that doesn't mean we're staying. Gringo, did you hear yourself? You said we're not staying. Doesn't Ono have anything to say about this? Yeah, Gringo. <laughs> Look, I'm going upstairs. Go in and get the cookies and go into the barn and wait for me there. Okay. Ono, you don't have to listen to all those things that Mary just said. I think her cowboy boots are on too tight. But Gringo, what if I want to go to the hoedown? Well, then you're as weird as the rest of them. Gringo, I think you're breaking the cookies.
the world premiere of Mary and the Runaways. <laughs> sheep going their own way got a lot of sheep doing their own thing they call it run up what you say say what run em up run up huh? they call it run em up you think she means that yeah run em up she be run em up everybody's running em up when they're left on their own they can't leave everybody's running em up we can't leave them They call it run em up. Yeah, run em up. Everybody's running them up. So what did y'all think of the run amucks? <laughs> okay, for this next number, we're gonna do a little fishing. But before we do, I have a little net back here. You know, I went fishing with a net once, but she got a sunburn. <laughs> I know, I'm floundering around right now. <laughs> but you know, you can tune a guitar, but you cannot tune a fish. <laughs> and I have a great song with a great hook in it, too. <laughs> I know, I'm fishing for a compliment. <laughs> so let's go, hit it, guys. Jesus will provide all our needs Like a coin in a fish's mouth If we believe Jesus will provide all our needs Peter said, how can we pay? The tax man wants us, but there's no way Then he went, looking south
Sono. And what about you, Gringo? Well, it's not that I don't think you're a good singer, Mary. It's just that... Ow! What happened? I just got a splur on my finger oh. from this wooden stage. Let, let me see. Oh, bud, it looks like it went pretty deep. It hurts. Oh, well, you better go on into the rehearsal room, and, uh, and then we can find someone to put some medicine on that before it gets infected. Okay. So, Gringo, how did it turn out? Awesome, Mary. Mr. Larry Great. fixed it right up, and I hardly felt a thing. Oh, he'll be fine. He just wanted this big old bandage, so I gave it to him. Just keep the area clean, and he'll okay. be good as new. Okay. Whoa. Thanks, Mr. Larry. You're really good at this stuff. Well, Larry's a doctor and a very good doctor. Yes, a doctor, a very good doctor. Hmm, so you like Larry, do ya? Well, of course I like Dr. Larry. And I like you too, Gringo. So, Larry, what did you think of the hoedown? I like it. I could listen to this music all day long. Oh, really? Isn't that interesting? You know, because, uh... Gringo was saying that anybody who dressed like this and listened to that kind of music, they were like first graders. Mary! And you wouldn't want to hang around those type of people. Well, I think I'm more than a first grader. I went to grade school, to high school, and then to medical school. I think that makes about 20 years of going to school. <laughs> yeah, I think that makes me more than a first grader. And you're sure you like this kind of music? I'd have to say, I love it. Interesting. Okay, thanks, Dr. Larry. Go ahead, back to the fun. I'm gonna finish up with Gringo. Gringo, I have a few more songs to do. Are you coming? I guess. I'm not telling you you have to come, but there's a crowd full of really nice people, including my family, who are, by the way, from the South. It's your call. A one, a two, a three, a four. In my garden, there's lots of beans and corn. You should see me grow on early every morn. I love to watch them sprout and those bee pods pop out. Oh, I know God made them grow. And when it's picking time, I see what I can find. Cause I know God made them grow. Good things on the vine.
to thank you all for coming to my hoedown today. We're gonna mix things up a bit right now. And you know, I've been so blessed for so many years to sing for so long and- How many years? Too many to count and not enough to be finished. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, one of the great things about what I do is working and meeting with so many incredible people. As a matter of fact, Dasha and her daughter Diamond are here. Hi, Diamond. Would you please welcome them to the stage? So Diamond asked if she could sing this next song with me. And I said, of course. And she asked if she could bring some of her friends. So along with Diamond are Annika, Amarion, Bianca, and Paige. everyone. I see that Gringo and Ono have joined us. <laughs> if it's okay with all of you, I would like to ask Gringo up to our little barn stage. <laughs> well, look at you. I think you forgot something. Whoops. Hi, Gringo. Testing, testing. Is this mic on? So Gringo wasn't sure he wanted to come to the hoedown today. Mary! Oh, it's okay, Gringo. Sometimes when we learn really good life lessons, it's good to share them with everybody. Gringo! 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 Oh, shucks. Gringo, You're all so nice. Gringo. You're gonna make me cry. Aww. Well, I'm glad, Gringo, that you think everybody's so nice. Why don't you share with them what you learned today? Well... Well, well, okay. I guess I learned a really big lesson today about judging people on the way they look, the way they dress, the way they talk, or even what kind of music they listen to. I, I learned if, 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 you, if you think that way or do that, you're not really very smart. And if, you, and, and if you just hang out with people just like yourself, life isn't very exciting. And, well, Mary taught me that God created all of us. And if you're good enough for God, you're good enough for me. Yeah. And from here on in, I'm not going to judge people on silly things like that. Good way to put it, Gringo. And because that was so well said, I'm going to dedicate this next song to you. Everybody ready for one more? Let's go. 
take a stand Yeah, take a stand Take a stand, yeah, take a stand. Take a stand, gotta take a stand. 